<laughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> Day 1747 of the push up challenge. 22 for vets is Marvin, aka E Marv. Gonna do my push ups. But first, a quick message show love through action. Not just saying I love you, but actually doing things that show love. For example, if your friend, family, partner has pain, maybe they pull the muscle, for example, have a cramp, give them a little massage, give them some pain medicine, give them some water, do something for them to help them. Those That's a little action that can show love. Bring them a, a, a cold glass of water if they're outside working on the yard, things like that. Show love through action. Now onto my push-ups, let's go. There we have it. That's 45. Let me know if you want to join me. I'll hold you accountable. Remember today's message. Show love through action. What's going on, Shaka Becker? What's good? I'll do Friday. Or you or what time is it? Almost Saturday for you. I don't think you, you mentioned how's your how's your back doing. Healing well. You have to go to the ER for an appointment. Wouldn't it be a regular doctor or a specialist? How are you doing physical therapy also? Oh, okay. is it because, uh, why just a little? Do you, do you just teach and you do it or how is it? Do you have to go in? So how's physical therapy? Oh, okay. Like not use your back so much or what? Oh. Yeah, use your 
use your legs more oh walking too when when you're walking you're hunched back a little bit do you have a a back brace I imagine they give you that right before that takes time so take it easy let the months pass by as you need it I don't click on links that people send, so. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I've been on the internet way too long. Actually, when I think about it, it's longer than probably you you've been in existence <laughs> I've been on the internet and luckily I've never I've never had any issues with yep guess when I got my first email I got my email 10 years before you were born I got it in 1997. 1997, I got my first email. It was a Yahoo email that I still use. It was 97 or 98. Probably. <laughs> what? Now you're making me feel much older. <laughs> So if she, if she had you when she was 18, she could probably be around uh, 32, right? That's if she had you when she, she's 18. Of course, you can have kids when you're younger than that, but just rough estimate. crazy how time flies so that's why again back to your bag let it recover because you got so much time so much time uh, ahead of you and that back issues as you get older that's when you start feeling so luckily I have a, I don't have any issues so but that's where you you know, staying active, even little, a little bit helps because you're using your body. Because I, I work sitting down all day. So imagine if I didn't do anything. I, w I don't think I'll be in good shape. <laughs> I mean, I'm, o I'm overweight a little bit, but besides that, I'm generally healthy. So it's as soon as you recover stay active and follow of course your PT physical therapist advice because there might be a few things that you can do like with your arms I don't know I mean it's all connected so I don't know if you could do like doing that sort of thing you know keep your muscles active that I think that's something that Oh yeah, 
Oh, okay. That's fine. Oh, you can do a lot with 10 pounds. Just holding 10 pounds up here. It is super tiring. But I know. This right here, this is good. Maybe are you able to do overhand? That probably works it back more. Also, so maybe not. Because if, if I stretch out. Yeah, that. I mean, it, it, everything is connected, so. Yeah, but even uh, without any weights, because that's something that I do if I'm, you know, I'm gonna be active, you know, I do dynamic stretching, you know, moving around, that sort of thing, you know, to wake those muscles up. Oh, okay, yeah, I do. Yeah, that, keep your muscles active. Yeah, you don't want to lift any heavy weight <laughs> right now. Or even, probably even this year, you don't want to lift heavy weight. Just let it heal. It'll heal 100% well because you're young, so you'll recover quickly. And then, right, next year sometime, you'll be good to go start playing soccer again. But take it easy, that's for sure. See, there's supposedly a couple of other viewers, so feel free to say hello if you're there. These frogs. <laughs> that's what it tells me, but who knows? Maybe one of them or a couple of them are, you know. Twitch, Twitch bots. <laughs> no, that that noise is frog. Cause we have a pool in the back, and they like to hop in the pool. Hey, Kerry Zetu, how are you? think so you joined the stream a couple of days ago if I remember correctly you're in the East Coast if I remember was it North Carolina South Carolina Georgia Oh, okay. You're in 10th grade, if I remember correctly now. You're telling her, uh, telling Shaka Becker about high school. <laughs> if you'd call him old, imagine me. Ancient. I got kids that are older than both of you by at least ten years, maybe. It's all fun. Yep. My son is 25 this year. So imagine that. Yep. 25. Sure is. <laughs> it is. Before you know it, you're there. So, 
As I was telling Shaka Burkun, can we can we that too? Hey, don't worry about it. I used to think, oh man, everybody's because when I started working, everybody was older than me. But then, you know, time passes, and now I'm getting older than other people. So I was like, oh okay, I'm. So don't even think about <laughs> yeah. Just appreciate appreciate that you're younger than everyone right now appreciate that because that's gonna be time will pass and that will change then you'll have more time saying oh man I'm older than everybody <laughs> peace 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 it's all fun. There you go, peace. It's all fun and games. Especially, well, you have to think about some people that, I know you guys mentioned that you troll others, but you have to be aware. I don't what some people are going through that that's something that we we don't know we don't know through a screen what people are going through so like I try not to say anything negative because I don't know a person's situation we just know one small facet of their the person's life what did it what they decide to share you don't know if they have a troubled home and their only escape is going on the internet and just, you know, that's a way to escape. That's a way to deal with the stress that they might be having at home. So you, you never know how you say something. <laughs> hey, we all learn. We all learn carries that too. So it's a matter of learning sooner rather than later. So, you know, the thing is what's done is done. You're not able to change that. So it's improving what you can do, you know, in the future. As as good as possible. That's the thing. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. I've done things that I don't, I'm not uh, happy about. But I'm, I can't change the past, so I just move forward and deal with now and in the future and help help others. As for me, I like to help others, you know, help others as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, so move forward and know that there's always you know more you know people are so complex there's so there's multiple sides to where where they are they show you know one side is the <laughs> oh, glad to be of service glad to be of service yeah so you see you know, this is one persona that I have, let's say, with with people I talk to online. I try to be as positive as possible. You know, of course, my kids live with me all, you know, all day, every day. So they'll have a, another side you know, that maybe you other people won't see. It's, you know, but I, I try to be almost the same as far as level of positivity, you know, encouragement, I get frustrated with my kids. That's that's guaranteed. I mean, that's that's a part of life because <laughs> it's you know, young young adults or young or teens, you know, and you know from your experience, it's you don't listen, and if you do, it's not. Uh, you know, I mean, that's part of life. 
kids not listening that's a part of life <laughs> that's where us as parents need to be patient but then and then also the kids need to be understanding as well because we know like we don't know everything about I don't know everything about my kids and what they're what they're doing all the time they have their privacy and they don't know everything about what's going on with you know let's say finances finances is one thing yeah that's true you have to learn to trust somewhat at least like um Shaka Becker knows my youngest is yeah finance is super important that and it's not taught very much <laughs> like finances uh, well my youngest is 16 so um, almost almost a, an adult so you have to you know, I'll give her freedom as much so. yeah definitely finance should be mandatory because too often parents don't teach their kids and the problem is that even some parents don't know well so they might be teaching their kids wrong so that's a that's a problem I think and so having a standard level of financial education is important like basic things how do you, you know opening up a bank account uh, why you should have a bank account and how it works with paying bills many many parents don't involve their kids in information about how much things cost in the house like my kids know how much I pay for the house they know about how much the electricity is the, the, the groceries I share that with them because it's important that they know. I mean, they, for real, they have a, yeah, <laughs> especially, well, in California, especially. But they have a pretty easy life. I don't charge them for anything, I don't make them pay rent, even though technically I should, but yeah, so it's better that you learn. The sooner that you learn, the better. How do you how to manage credit cards? Because uh, there's some people that don't know how credit cards work. Loans, you know, if you get a car loan, how all that works? Yeah, if you're in the U.S., of course, credit, how credit uh, and your credit score works. You know why you should save and invest, and that sort of thing. And even, yep, yeah, like getting a credit card, but don't use it to your max. <laughs> pay things and then pay it off immediately, that sort of thing. So that way you build up credit. <laughs> well, that's the thing. You, The more you hear it, then the more you understand the first thing of learning anything you have to you don't necessarily get but the more then you go off let's say you might see a video about financial education for for teens then you get an understanding and it's like oh okay this is what he was talking about now the more places that you learn from the better Yeah, don't don't let it. Uh, that's the key thing that people with credit cards, or some people that don't know how to manage credit cards, they'll buy up a whole ton because the way you know, a simple way of looking at it, a credit card will give you a credit limit based on how much they think that you're credit worthy. Your credit worthiness means that how much they believe that you'll pay back things on time. That's the key thing with credit you're buying things uh, not with actual cash that you have but something that is it's like a temporary loan 
and if for credit cards if you pass a certain number of days so normally it's like 25 to 30 days then they will charge interest so interest is how they make money yeah or even that's the the thing is for credit cards don't spend more than the actual money that you have that's the key thing exactly make sure you have the money because if eh, that's the problem that many people have they say okay my credit limit's a thousand let me spend that thousand but you only make five hundred dollars a month which is you know not realistic but let's say you make five hundred dollars a month then you're gonna be short you know and then the credit card company is charging you interest that's how they make money charge interest and that interest is not cheap so if for let's say you have a thousand dollars on your credit it's a 20% interest that's a typical thing then 20% interest on a thousand is two hundred dollars so they're making two hundred dollars from your thousand that's how they make money is they're lending your money to they're lending money to you so you can buy things now and you pay it off later that's how loans work as well so the the interest is what they make when you when they're lending out their money that's how banks work in general so like you put money in in a bank they'll they'll lend your money out to to people that apply for loans and they make they make money on the interest that you have, you have to pay for the loan I look at the banks they're they're big business you know, your Wells Fargo your uh, Bank of America all these huge banks they make a ton of money from and that's one of their main products is lending out money which it's beneficial because like for example a house most people don't have enough money to buy a house cash so they'll take a loan out and you pay it over time as long as you pay it on time over time and you agree with the interest then everything's perfect so you don't have to worry about anything you keep your house and they'll have their money with interest and you get to purchase a house that you wouldn't have had because let's say you save money you might save in a couple of years maybe five to ten thousand dollars that's in any place in the u.s that's not enough to buy a house you buy you know a piece of land maybe in the middle of nowhere for five or ten thousand dollars but you're not gonna buy a house so you get a loan so you can buy a house yep and they are extremely expensive I've looked at, looked at houses there you know a cheap house would be f like five hundred thousand dollars half a million dollars if you buy a house now renting is another thing so when you rent you're not buying the house you're just borrowing the house where you're living which is which is fine it, just because uh, there's house it doesn't mean you have to buy you you can just rent it and that's perfectly fine for people that don't need to uh, don't want that obligation of having a house you know whatever works renting is perfectly fine too especially when you're starting out you don't have money so you rent but you still normally what uh, places do or the landlords do is that they check your credit to make sure that you are trustworthy when you're paying are you talking about the houses 
if you're talking about houses for example the loans are typically 30 year loans that's the you know the typical loan and okay again depending on where you are like a, a house in Cali would be probably per month maybe about you know on the low end if you're buying a house in let's say it's the suburbs maybe it'll be around five hundred to six hundred thousand dollars total price and your loan will be about let's say four thousand to five thousand dollars a month which is <laughs> and that depends on your down payment also because you have to give a certain amount at the beginning so you can guarantee that you'll you know it will be a, a safe loan for the mortgage company or the bank so yeah about four to six thousand dollars a month and it depends on many factors you know the cost of the loan i mean like the total cost of the house the the loan amount how much down payment you have whether you're getting assistance from the federal programs that will guarantee a lower loan like veterans people that were in the army or in the military we can get special discounts on that so yeah all, all fun things to learn as an adult <laughs> that you don't hear about much in school so that's, you know going back to my original message you know kids kids don't have that to think about that right now so <laughs> you, you don't if you're for example having your parents are being let's say a little bit rough you don't know if there might be some financial issue and then might be might just be some financial issue they're going through they're just not telling you about it because you know they don't want to worry you or they might think that you don't understand so, so you have to understand from your parents perspective what they may be going through they might be stressed out at work because you know they're somebody got fired and now they think they're next or something they're worried about their job you know, any number of things and, and for you one thing and I try to do it with my kids but you know, I have <coughs> everybody has their own way of communicating but is asking them, hey, is something wrong oh, what's going on like making observation that's the key thing because people tend and this is everyone people tend to get defensive when you they feel like they're attacked so if you ask you know state of fact you say you feel kind of sad today what what happened or you you were uh, you know after they've calmed down because that happened if you say i felt that you were a bit rude they you know what happened I guarantee you that if it if they're a loving parent they'll appreciate the fact that you're wanting to find out so the key thing is regular communication because having regular communication helps build trust also that's within family too thank you that's within family you want you will have to build trust within your family too because if if they don't trust you for a reason or if you don't trust them then where's that gonna go you're not gonna have good communication and trust is built little by little that's the thing 
I only see one viewer now. I wonder if Kerry is that too. Left. Yep, it is. It is. Thanks for joining me on my little rant. <laughs> But happy to always share. If I could make somebody's life easier or better, then I would gladly do it. Hmm. Awesome. Anybody join in? I see two now. Say hello if you're here. We got Shaka Brecker, we're just chatting. Okay, uh, otherwise I'm gonna have to hit the shower and get to bed. It's 2 a.m. over here. <laughs> As you know, I do my late night activities before going to bed. Mm -hmm. Alright, thanks. Thanks again for listening in. And we'll see you next time. Remember today's message, show love through action. This is Marvin. Peace out. Good night. Have a good one.